All right, so you know, after a week, restricted my time studying Swedish to seven hours essentially. And uh, of course, it could have gone a lot further had I put in more time in this week, but I really enjoyed it nonetheless. Like I mentioned in, uh, in the previous video, I didn't focus only on Duolingo, okay? Just because of the fact that I thought that uh, Duolingo, especially at the beginning, you learn a lot of things that are not very useful. Food, fruits, animals, and so on. So you could talk about ducks if you want to, or spiders, or oranges. And that's cool, you know, like, I mean, eventually you want, you want to learn these things as you learn the language. However, by the end of the week, I just wanted to say some stuff. So I also used, of course, the, the content that I had uh, developed for myself and a native speaker had created some audio for me, so I just like listened to it a lot. The new system that uh, Duolingo has introduced hasn't made that much of a difference yet for me because, you know, you have those crowns or whatever, and you, I just kept going through the content without actually pursuing that much depth in each of the topics, especially because I wanted to go through topics as quickly as possible to get to, to more uh, meaningful content, okay? Because I just, I didn't want to focus just on food and animals and so on, I just wanted to to get some, a real feeling for the language. So I think that, you know, in, in a week, if you have really seven hours to spend uh, in a given week, you get a feel for the language, you learn how to say some things with Duolingo, but personally, I really like to try to actually focus on content that's gonna be a bit more useful conversationally, okay? So I just wanted to express a few thoughts like the ones that I, that I did, because I find that they would be a lot more useful for uh, a legit conversation in Swedish, you know, like I, if I'm introducing myself or whatever, I'll be like, oh, hey, you know, I haven't been to Sweden, but I've heard good things. I'm learning because of this. I have friends who are Swedish, you know, I just I wanna say these things that are more meaningful to me than, you know, something like I like ducks or whatever, you know, but Duolingo has been useful nonetheless for, you know, getting a taste of the language and getting an idea of how things work. My overall thoughts on Swedish, I think it's a, it's a pretty cool language. It's a Germanic language. It has similarities with German and English, which helps. However, it is still quite different anyway. So I think that uh, if I keep going, I think that I'll be able to reach a conversational level quicker than, you know, if I'm learning a more remote language, right? So it was, so it was a pretty enjoyable challenge. Just a car went by, it was, wow. It was a pretty enjoyable challenge nonetheless. It's a cool challenge for you to get started, but in a way, I also feel like seven hours could be better spent on content that is highly useful to you. You know, if you're in the business world and you wanna have a quick chat to introduce yourself, it may be more useful to just like focus on that, on, on content that's more relevant to you than on some things that Duolingo offers. Nonetheless, like I always say, I think Duolingo is useful. It does help you a bit to just like build a base with the language. So, you know, I do, I do recommend it to some extent, but I must say that, you know, it won't make you fluent. It won't really necessarily suit your needs, depending on what you need to use the language for. You know, so my, my accent's probably terrible. Uh, I still have a lot of work to do, but it was a fun experiment. You know, I, uh, if you are from Sweden, I'd love to hear your, uh, your input, but just please keep in mind that I, I just put in seven hours into learning Swedish. So of course it's gonna, I'm a long ways away from developing proper pronunciation, so it probably sound quite funny, uh, and I just hope that I sound understandable. So, here we go. Jag har aldrig varit i Sverige, jag har hört underbara saker om Sverige, och jag hoppas kunna åka dit inom snart framtid. Jag tror att min brytning på svenska är hemsk, men jag hoppas kunna förbättra den snart. Jag började lära mig svenska tack vare mitt intresse för svensk kultur, och uh, det sven svenska samhället. Jag har ett par uh, vänner från Sverige och de är uh, mycket trevliga personer. Tack så mycket! Jag har aldrig uh, varit i Sverige. Uh, jag har hört underbara saker om Sverige. Uh, och jag hoppas kunna åka dit inom snart framtid. Jag tror uh, att min brytning på svenska är hemsk. Uh, men jag hoppas kunna förbättra den snart. Uh, jag uh, började lära mig svenska tack vare mitt intresse för svensk kultur. Och 
uh, det sven, svenska samhället. Jag har ett uh, par uh, vänner från Sverige. Um, och de är uh, mycket trevliga personer. Trevliga personer. Mycket trevliga personer. So there you go, my friends. That's it for today. And if you have enjoyed the video, please click on like. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, click on my face to do so. And good luck, my friends, learning whatever you're learning. Adios.